Hey Ben! What? You know it's tough being a boy. Meeting world. When this boy meets world, boy meets world. Welcome back to I Could Totally Get Into That, the show that digests all the joyous nerdy goodness of the world and regurgitates it for you like a mother bird. This episode is Boy Meets World. That's right, we're going back in time to when we were kids. Boy Meets World is about a kid named Corey Matthews who grows up with his family, the Matthewses, and he's going to school, has his two best friends, Topanga and Sean. We would go into all the characters, but I'd be doing this all night long. If you're in America, you will have seen it on ABC's TGIF lineup. If you're in the UK, you probably saw it on the Disney Channel back before Sky was even digital. This show was huge. It had seven seasons, 158 episodes, and we're gonna get you into it. So the basic plot of any episode, Corey and Sean will do something really stupid. Topanga gets dragged along for the ride. Mr. Feeney will give advice. Feeney! Eric will be crazy. Feeney! Wow! <laughs> Corey learns a life lesson. That we learn as well. And no matter how bad the offense was, the whole world returns to its wonderful status quo. So we're gonna throw a bunch of episodes down there in the doobly-doo for you guys to pick up on and watch and consume with your eyeballs and your ears. But we're gonna hit on two episodes right now to throw them out your way. Season 4, Episode 9, 16 Candles and 400 Pound Men. It's a classic situation where Corey has promised himself to two friends, Frankie the Enforcer Stakino and Topanga, her 16th birthday. You get references to all kinds of fun stuff, eventually Corey gets caught, it's lovely. Did I ruin it for you, or did it just begin? Season 5, Episode 17, and then there was Sean. Okay guys, I'm gonna lay it all out for you. This is my favorite episode of Boy Meets World, it's the most memorable for me. It was a Halloween episode, it's a horror show. It has Jennifer Love Hewitt, uh, Jennifer LaFefferman in this. It has so many fun jokes that I don't want to spoil it. All you need to know about this episode is that Cory and Topanga have broken up, it's split the group in half, and Sean feels responsible. So that's the what and the how, now the why. So Boy Meets World ended with Cory and Topanga going off to celebrate their newly married lives alone together. Sean came along, it was very special, and that's where we thought it ended. Until now. When this girl meets world, girl meets world. That's right, James. They're going to bring a new show onto television called Girl Meets World, and it has the same characters in it, except now they have a daughter. We don't know her name, and it's going to come out in autumn, as the British say. It's going to be fun. So yeah, it's going to be a really fun sequel to the Boy Meets World series, but we really think it'd be a great idea to watch Boy Meets World first, so you kind of know what's going on. We assume there'll be lots of hilarious in-jokes. But the main reason to get into this show, Ben? James, this show touched the heart of me when I was a child, which is the only appropriate way to touch a child. It's a fun show, you should watch it, it's wonderful. If you want to see just good old-fashioned fun TV for the whole family, watch Boy Meets World, then get psyched, because there's more coming your way. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of I Could Totally Get Into That. Boy Meets World. As we said before, we're going to put down in the doobly-doo. 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 Some more episodes that you can check out that we think are amazing. Uh, also, don't forget to like and subscribe and do all the good stuff. Check out our latest video. Like this video. Subscribe to our channel. And check out our partners, Creator X.